Is this a satisfying conclusion? Let's find out. Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and this is the Film Fanatic Review bringing you Avengers Endgame, starring Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and Chris Hemsworth. First we'll tell you what the movie is about, and our initial thoughts. Then we'll move on to our spoiler free likes and dislikes. We'll finish up with some spoiler heavy thoughts on this film, and our final word. Avengers Endgame follows the story of the remaining Avengers, who assemble in the aftermath of their war against Thanos to undo his actions and restore order to the universe. Overall, I was blown away by this film. While it is the culmination of 11 years of Marvel movies, it manages to be so much more than that. For what I liked about this film, let's start off with the performances. In a superhero film, no one really expects them to deliver really deep portrayals of their characters, as we're just kind of expecting a very basic emotional arc with action along the way. However, all the actors in this film bring their A-game and manage to bring such deep emotional depth to their characters, which is needed for the backbone of the story. Speaking of the story, it manages to exceed expectations in a phenomenal conclusion of the core Avengers journey. The themes of sacrifice, martyrdom, failure, and family are all center stage and help to create some very thought-provoking arcs for the original team. Meanwhile, it not only delivers a very emotional and character-centric story as its backbone, but also dives into various genres as well. It brings the fun of a sci-fi adventure, the comedy of the better superhero stories, and an unbelievable amount of action. This action, which delivers the best fight sequence in the MCU, is done thanks to some unbelievable CGI and special effects throughout the film. Not only does it have extended use of the de-aging effect, but it also manages to fluidly and seamlessly blend all of its CGI into this experience. This experience as a whole is of course attributed to the phenomenal direction of the Russo brothers, who are definitely in line for the title of best superhero director. They create a harrowing atmosphere that encapsulates the grim situation at hand without losing the superhero roots at its core. This all on top of being able to blend all the styles of the previous films before it and not feel tonally off. And this film is filled with a lot of references and easter eggs that don't feel like overstuffed fan service, making for the perfect end to this massive story. And that's it. I have nothing bad to say about this film. And that's where I'll end our spoiler free thoughts on this film. If you want to hear our final word or rating of this film, pause now and click the link in the description. Because now, it's time for spoilers. So first of all, I have to say that I absolutely love the time travel aspect in this story. It allowed them to go back through the entire MCU and have some nostalgic moments, but also let the characters grow and have their arcs come full circle. All right, let's talk about the major deaths in this film. They are Thanos, Thor's six pack, present day Gamora, past Nebula, Natasha Romanoff, Thanos again, Tony Stark, and Captain America. And of course, we gotta go through all the cameos in this film. They were Valkyrie, Corgan Meek, Queen Frigga, Jane Foster, Loki, Crossbones, Agent Sitwell, The Chosen One, and The Kid from Iron Man 3. Finally, I want to applaud this film in particular for having a fitting conclusion to the core Avengers storylines and their journeys. Tony manages to have the family he always wanted and reconciliates with his father. Steve saves the world and goes back in time to have his happy ending. Natasha will do anything to save her family and pays the ultimate price. And Thor, finally coming to terms with his lineage and his family deaths, decides to bring himself on a new journey going forward. As for my favorite scenes in this film, I can't pick a single one because I found that all of them served a purpose in the grand scheme of this film and I was blown away from start to finish. So with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. Avengers Endgame is a marvelous film that is part superhero adventure and part emotional character drama. From its satisfying narrative arcs, character moments, intense action, hilarious comedy, strong thematic elements, and excellent suspenseful atmosphere. It may be a slow burn, but this pinnacle of superhero cinema triumphantly lands with style in the perfect send-off for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This film transcends all of its genres to become a fully formed and phenomenal narrative of cosmic proportions. So I'm going to give Avengers Endgame a 10. 
Thanks everyone for watching our review. Are you planning on seeing Avengers Endgame? Or if you've already seen it, do you have something to add? What did you think of the story? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips, and this has been the Film Fanatic Review.